Hello everyone, this is Anna. Tonight I've decided I'm gonna make a reindeer tag and I thought I would share the process with you. Let me show you the products I'm gonna use and then I'll show you assembling the tag. So I'm going to be using um, this holly die here from the Primitive Gingerbread die set from Impression Obsession. That set comes with the Gingerbread Boy, the Bell, um, this little, cute little heart, and the holly with berries. So I'm just gonna be using that little holly piece I'm going to be using um, the plaid tag as my tag base. Um, this is a two-piece die, also from Impression Obsession. It has a cute stitching detail along the edges of the tag. It has a pinking, pinked edge. And then it has a second piece here as well that has uh, some faux stitching detail um, in a plaid design. And this piece layers right over top um, of the base of the tag, just like that. And then I'm also going to be using the deer die. This is gonna be the focal point of my tag. This die set comes with the deer's body, um, his nose, his muzzle, a couple of antlers, inlays for the ears, um, his chest hair, and four little hooves. And then I'm going to be using this paper from my mind's eye. This is a six by six paper pad I picked up um, at Tuesday morning a couple of years ago, and it's called Cozy Christmas. And I'll just give you a quick peek here. And I'll just choose a couple of prints out of here to use for my tag. I really like this sweater. So I'll be using that paper pad as well. And then I'm probably going to be using various distress inks um, with my project. Um, usually I start with tea dye and then move, move to uh, vintage photo, um, maybe some walnut stain. And then finally, um, I'm likely, likely to use some ground espresso. Um, so I really enjoy using the browns. And then I will probably use some uh, glitter dust spray as well. So let me go ahead and show you the process of assembling this tag. So I started by die cutting the deer from some craft colored cardstock. And to keep those little eye pieces from falling out while I work on the project, I just added a little bit of washi tape to the back side of the die cut. That'll hold those eyes in place while I work on the project. I am using a small blender brush from Picket Fence Studio to add some vintage photo and ground espresso distress ink to the edges of the die cuts. And I just like how this uh, gives the die cuts personality, a um, little bit of dimension, and just really brings them to life. I'm also using some tea dye to add color to his chest hair and then because those were too close together in color I decided to go back and add some additional ground espresso ink to the die cut as well and that just gave a little bit more contrast between the pieces. I am using um, tea dye to add a little bit of color to his muzzle and using a Copic marker in R35 to add just a little bit of color to his nose. I am inking the edges of the antlers um, just a little bit with some of that uh, leftover ink on the table and then using an R20 Copic marker to add just a hint of pink to the center of his ears. I did actually end up um, adding ink to the hooves but I didn't use them on the tag so you can skip that process if you do create this tag. I'm just cleaning up my workspace there a little bit and then continuing on. I'm using a cool gray nine marker to add some color to his eyes. And then I'm going to be adhering the die cut pieces in place. I am using a jewel picker to pick up those little tiny ta um, die cut pieces and, uh, and set them in place. And I did use a little bit of foam adhesive on the back of his muzzle to give it a little dimension. I am using the jewel picker to pick up the center of his ears, and then I will also adhere his little antlers in place. I think this little guy is super cute. So now for the base of my tag, um, I actually die cut the tag pieces twice, uh, the base of the tag twice. I die cut it from craft colored cardstock and I die cut it from one of the pieces of the designer paper from the My Mind's Eye pad. You can see that that um, layering piece on top has the faux stitch detail in the plaid design. And you can see how these two pieces layer together with a border around 
the outside edge. I'm going to use an acrylic block just to hold those together while the glue dries. And then I'm going to uh, adhere the other piece of the tag to the back side. This will make the tag nice and sturdy. Then I decided that I wanted to um, have the deer have the same pinked edge as the bottom of the tag. So I took him over to my die cut machine and ran him through the die cut machine with that tag die. And that gave him the uh, same zigzag um, design on the bottom of his uh, belly. I'm adding foam adhesive to the back of the uh, die cut pieces and then we'll adhere him to the base of the tag. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut some um, of the holly um, from a olive green cardstock and I'm going to ink up the edges of that holly just a little bit just to give it a little bit of uh, shape and some visual interest and then I'm going to use hot glue to adhere that to the deer's head. Um, where those little um, uh, berries would be, the holly berries would be, I decided to use a red button that I threaded with some of my favorite hemp twine and created two little flippy ends um, that can stick out from the button. And once I had that done, I adhered the button in place with some hot glue and held it in place while the glue dried with my pinch tweezers. Next, I'm going to be adding the hanging string. Um, I'm just slipping some of that brown um, hemp twine through the hole of the tag and then decided to add an, an additional button detail on, on the end of the tag. So I did a cross stitch um, with the, uh, with the hemp twine through the button, and that not only holds the button in place, but it also creates the little loop for the hanging tag. Then I got to looking and I thought, oh my gosh, I think he needs some sparkle. So I covered up my workspace, got out my glitter dust, and gave him a good spritz of glitter, and now I think he is super cute. And I hope you agree. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you're inspired and I hope you've enjoyed. And I guess I will talk to you again soon. Thanks.